As you can see from the title, we are going to be talking about Rizzo Wire. You ask me I'm bad on whiny, I guess I'm a bag for me. Your body looks bad on me, cause it gets wetter for me Once you beg for me, once you beg, once you beg Watch me beg for you, I'ma beg, I guess I gotta beg It's your boy Milo. And today we're doing a different kind of video. We wanted to come to this video eating gummy worms. Um, as you can see, I am extremely sick. As you can see, my baby is extremely beautiful. <laughs> I can't laugh. <laughs> but uh, it was a post I made on IG uh, yesterday <laughs> that a lot of people was asking us what we were talking what I was talking about I basically said this is why I don't F with you YouTubers yada 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 I want to start off by saying what's up I'm gonna start off by saying these gummy worms are extremely fire and these lights in front of us are bright as hell so if I start sneezing I'm so sorry as you can see from the title we are going to be talking about Risen Wire As you guys know, us four went to Miami. We linked for a couple's vacay um, slash getaway. You know what I mean? And we all rented out an Airbnb. The Airbnb was cool. First, let me put in my complaints about the Airbnb. It was nice and all, but the area, it was it was not it. It was not it. It was hard to get around. Everything was 20 plus minutes away, regardless of how far it was. It was one mile. Two miles, three miles, eighteen hundred miles. Yeah, it was, it was honestly one of the worst trips ever. Me and Milo, I don't want to say we never really wanted to collab with other YouTubers, but for me specifically, I, I'm not gonna speak for you. I'll just speak for myself. Mm -hmm. Me personally, it was not something that I wanted to do. You know what I'm saying? Like I didn't care to do it. It's not like I was completely closed off to it, but I just didn't really care to. I was very skeptical about like meeting new people who also do YouTube. People are not always what they seem like online. You know what I mean? So that's why I was really skeptical about it. And I'm more like hard on people than he is. You know how people say they trust somebody until they give them a reason not to trust them? Mm -hmm. Like for me, it's opposite. Like I automatically don't trust nobody until you give me a reason to trust you. But I feel like that's a good thing also because it protects me, it protects myself, it protects us, you know what I mean? Babe, on the other hand, I feel like we're kind of like opposite. Yeah, when it I'm comes very to that. trusting. I, yeah. I give everybody a chance. Uh, Benefit of the doubt. Yeah, and I, I always try to see the good in people regardless of what they, what they do. And I guess that could be a good thing and a bad thing. Can you shut up? I guess that could be a good thing and a bad thing because most people who deserves a second chance usually does right that second time. And then other people, they just want a million chances and they can never change, so. Yeah. So I feel like we balance each other out good, yeah. you know what I mean? But yeah, he's the one who's like more open to collabing with other people, like always connecting with other people, talking to other people, all of that stuff. Me, I stay in my own lane, I stay to myself, you know what I mean? Like I'm not really out there like that. Risk of Pawn, he actually bring them to my attention and like I started watching their videos just to see who they were and get like a feel for them and stuff. At first like I was saying like how I was like really nervous about the trip and everything because I didn't know how it was gonna go. You know what I mean? Like I said I'm the skeptical one so he was all for it and this and this and that. We went out there, we ended up meeting with them. We stayed out there for six days and everything was everything was pretty lit. Like it was Oh, well. Why are you looking at me like that? Alright, no cap. Riss and Kwan are like the dopest people ever, bruh. I just want to put that on the table. They're the dopest people ever. I don't know what to we say. Just, <laughs> we just had to prank y'all real quick. We had to go out with a bang, you feel me? We had to prank y'all real quick. And, um, make y'all think me and Riss and Kwan and Hazel and Riss and Kwan was beefing. <laughs> What I put on my story was to a whole different YouTuber that was not towards Riss and Quan. I know it seemed as if it was because we just got done yeah. collabing, but no, nah, they're like, they're the dopest people we ever met, bruh. And to be honest with y'all, me and Hazel don't have a lot of friends for the simple fact that a lot of people our age are into what we're not into, you know what I mean? They're they, still immature. Yeah, it's like, you know, me and Hazel, we just had our first drink like a few months ago. 
And to be honest, we really don't like drinking, going out and drinking, partying. pubbing, partying, smoking. We're just not into that type of stuff, you know what I mean? We, we just like drinking with drinking with in family. the comfort of our, our own home, home yeah. with family, friends, yada, yada. Mm -hmm. And that's like what we, that's what we love to do. And Riss and Quan was on the same vibe. Mm -hmm. To be honest, like we were way too alike. It was extremely yeah. scary. It got to a point where I was like, I feel like y'all either looked at everything that we're yeah. interested in and y'all just copied us. We were just kidding about everything we were saying before. I didn't even know what to say. Like I couldn't even say anything. Like I, I wouldn't have even felt comfortable playing around yeah. saying bad stuff Me about too, them. That's why I didn't know what to say. They're just but no, cool people. But it's true, I am very skeptical, but when once like he introduced me to them, we were actually all in a group chat for like oh, two weeks yeah. before we even met up. We followed each other on Instagram and we were all in a group chat talking and all that for two weeks mm -hmm. before we even met in person. We already got kind of like a vibe of each other before even meeting, so I felt like that was really good so it wouldn't be weird when we right. met in person. Just even talking to them in the group chat before we met, like everything was like, I was like, wow, they seem like so dope. They seem like good people and then meeting them and everything was just amazing. Like, like, like I said, I'm really skeptical about people, but Riss and Kwan are some real ones. I yeah, love it. them. They like, I could really see them as family. And that's a lot coming from her, bro. Yeah. You know, it's honestly very easy for me to like people. I feel like it's really easy to very be liked easy. by us. Very easy. Like, I know you probably look at me like I'm too hard on people, but honestly, I just don't like people who are disrespectful, who are fake, who are two-faced, who are immature, childish, all the bad things, like a normal exactly. person. Exactly. As know? long as you're a good person, you're good. Yeah, so. Even if we're not into the same things even if you do things that we're not into you yeah. know what i mean like we will still rock with you yeah. best believe we have some friends that a lot of people will look at and be like they're such a bad influence you know what i mean like for example we're not into smoking but if you smoke that does not mean that we won't rock with you that don't yeah. mean that we won't vibe with you. i'm talking about your character we look at who people are inside you know what i'm saying like we're not gonna judge you on things you do you know what i'm saying because yeah. it's like everybody's gonna do something that you don't agree with or you don't like but I look at people's character, how they treat other people, how they talk to other people, mm -hmm. like, you know what I mean? You know what Manners, I mean? Manners, yeah. Yeah, so it's like, just something like, things play, like that. I when we linked with Riss and Kwan from that first day, it was just amazing. Like, I was like, oh my god, they're just really humble, genuine people. I really mess with them. 100, like, 200,000 percent. And I'm just so happy that our first collab was, was with, with people that, well, it was just such a good experience, you know what I mean? Like... Like, how terrible would it have been if we did not like them or they didn't like us? Or it was just, that would have been. You know what I mean? That would have been So bad. I'm just very thankful that they're genuinely good people and that we all had a good mm -hmm. time. Like, I just think it was... I had so much fun. Yeah. Like, honestly. And I, I don't really have a lot of fun. We actually did a lot. I know we look back at it and we're like, damn, I wish we could have did more, like, jet skiing and all that. Yeah, but but no. the weather just wasn't it. <laughs> And we just, we all spent a lot of, like, quality time together in the house. And yeah. Ways, like, playing games and stuff and all yeah. that, so. They brought this card game. It was some deep questions. I feel like we really got to know each other. Like, I learned a lot about Quan's background, you feel me? And my man's been through a lot. Mm -hmm. My man been through a lot. And I thought you were the only person that I really known with, like, a crazy History. background, like, other than mm -hmm. your family. But my man's been through a lot, man. And he's, that dude is strong, bro. Yeah. That man's very strong-minded. They're very creative, you know what I mean? You could tell they know exactly what they want in life, you feel me? And that's that's super dope, and that's that, I, th I feel like that's why we vibed with them so well. Yeah, it's just we're all on the same wavelength, you know what I yeah. mean? We couldn't have met a better couple, like a better match for us, you Facts. know what I mean? To be 100,000%, thousand, thousand billion percent with y'all, I don't think we'll ever vibe with another couple like we did with them, bro. Yeah. It was different. It was like crazy. Like it was so different. It was just so perfect that it was yeah. crazy to us. Like legit, everywhere we went, we ordered the same <laughs> drinks. We like the same foods. We like the same snacks. <laughs> the same treats. <laughs> like it was crazy. <laughs> It was so weird, bro. I know you guys are probably exact thinking same. like just because you guys ordered the same drinks don't mean No, but that's a big deal. I never no, I never been around anybody that ordered the exact same thing as just me. Just like we're talking about like just jokes and like just vibing with each other. Mm. Like we just we had the same humor. We all had the same humor. Yeah. We all had the same opinions, the same mindset. You know what I'm saying? So I just really enjoyed my time with them. I know you enjoyed your time. Yeah. You know you got sick during yeah. the trip. I got sick as hell and I felt so bad, bro, because I wasn't able to be myself, bro. I was not feeling it. Oh, I can't <laughs> breathe. I don't know if we're gonna collab with more YouTubers again in the future. We'll see. I don't want to say no because no, we're, we're gonna I was like completely closed yeah. off to the idea 
until Bruce and Quan, you know what I'm saying? Well, but most I just I feel like it's really unlikely that we're gonna meet somebody, meet another couple that we vibe with just as well. Yeah, because that was different. But it was that New York vibe. But yeah, no guys, we have nothing but good things to say about them. We will always have nothing but good things to say about them. They're amazing people. We mess with them the long way. And if you guys have not subscribed to them yet, after everything, for the last time, y'all better go, go subscribe. subscribe. And if you haven't caught up on our previous videos, the last couple videos that we did with them, make sure you guys go catch up. Make sure you okay. watch those. They were all bangers. We love versus Juan. They the homies. Squad, true <laughs> gang stuff. You know what I'm saying? I don't yeah. know what I just said. But yeah, we just want to trick y'all. There's nothing <laughs> to expose. There's no, there's no tea, no none of that. Nah. It's all love. Um, uh, I hope y'all enjoy seeing our face. If you did, give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. If you ain't subscribed already, make sure you comment and say get well soon, my love. Because if you don't, I swear to God, I'll beat you. Um, <laughs> Babe, you're so freaking evil. But always remember, <laughs> heaven added the littest opportunities. So keep that halo and keep your head up. You hear me now? I don't. You ask me, I bet I want it. I guess I'm a bet for you. Your body looks better on me. Cause it gets wetter for me. Once you beg for me. Once you beg, once you beg. Watch me beg for you.